Uh, we are here with Sarah Kaufman, uh, one of the best 135 pound women fighters in the entire world. Um, you're going to have a fight coming up. Tell us about who you're going to be fighting. Uh, well, I'm fighting Sarah Schneider uh, for PFC. Um, I pretty much, she's uh, she's the third opponent opponent for this fight, so we've gone through two other girls. So um, I actually really think that this one will pan out. And um, I've heard she's a really tough girl. She's hard to finish. Um, so I'm just looking for a good fight. Um, you live in Victoria, but you're not super well known, even though you're one of the top fighters uh, in your weight division in the entire world. Um, to the people out there who maybe haven't had a chance to see you, uh, how do you describe your own fighting style? I would say I'm pretty aggressive. Um, I train in everything, so I have. I think I have good hands, I have good wrestling, I have good ground. So I think that allows me to play into whatever game is the opposite of my opponents. What do you know about your opponent this time around? I know that she is primarily, I think she's done a lot of wrestling. Uh, she's quite aggressive as well. And so I'm probably assuming that she's going to try and take it to the ground um, and try and go for an armbar or submission. Uh, there were some rumors uh, of you uh, fighting in Elite XC before it went under. Um, tell us about, um, you know, Strikeforce. Strikeforce bought out Elite XC. Is there any right. chance that we're going to see you in that organization? They obviously have some of the best fighters in the world. you got Gina Carano and Cyborg. Um, what do you think about that? Is that a possibility? Well, they actually, I was one of the, I think, 46 or 49 contracts that they picked up. So when they acquired uh, some of the Elite XC contracts. So I will be fighting for them. It looks like uh, I'm working with both organizations, which is nice. So hopefully I'll get lots of fights this year. Um, they've been talking about maybe having me fight in June. So we'll kind of see if that pans out or not. Um, I'm going to pick your brain here. Cyborg is going to be taking on Gino at some point. That's, a, that's probably the, the premier women's fight right now. Who's taking that fight and why? I think that's a tough call. I think Cyborg's really aggressive. She's a big lady. She's very muscular, very strong. Um, and she does have a strong ground if she wants to use it. So I think if she gets the fight to the ground, uh, she could win that fight. And I think if it stays standing, um, as long as Gina Carano can avoid getting um, overwhelmed, I think that she has really good striking. So stand-up-wise, I think Gina could win on the ground Cyborg. So your prediction? Stand up, Gina could win on the ground, Cyborg. Oh, very well, very political. Thank you. Um, one of the things um, about women's fighting is the fact that there aren't a lot of uh, women fighting, obviously, and um, there are, there were some problems in the last show with the, the weight cutting. Um, what are your thoughts on the fact that uh, that Cyborg didn't make weight by seven pounds? I don't really think there's an excuse for her not to make weight. She's made 140. She's made 145. So it's not a matter of her not being able to make that weight. Uh, I really just think that she thought the fight would still go on anyways. It's kind of been a bad precedent having Gina not make weight um, quite a few times and still have the fight go on. So in my opinion, I think it could have been, you know, the camp decided, well, they're going to have the fight. It's a big card. They'll make the fight go through. So if she doesn't make weight, it's not a big deal. So I, I just think uh, it's really unfortunate for the professionalism of women's MMA. Well said. Um, if you had an opportunity to fight either of those girls, would you step up and uh, fight in a higher weight class and fight either of them? It depends on kind of the situation. There are so many fabulous women at 135 that there really isn't a need for me to step up, go to 145. I feel really strong at 135. So going up those extra 10 pounds, they're cutting from a way bigger weight. Uh, so, I mean, if the right situation came along, uh, I'd consider it. But uh, otherwise, I'd like to stay at 135. Right. And uh, any parting thoughts uh, for the fans out there? They're going to be watching you at the PFC. Um, I just really hope that they enjoy my my fighting, and hopefully this gets my name out there a little bit more. Some of the you know American fans start to know who I am. Uh, I really want to make a statement, you know, for the first fight in the states. So hopefully I do that next Thursday, and and it goes well. And then right away I look to fight for Strike Force. So I'm really excited. Well, thank you for that. We really appreciate that. You're also going to be showing us a technique later. Is that correct? What are you going to be showing us today? I'm going to be showing an anti-jujitsu for MMA game where we're starting in half guard, throwing in some punching. If they attempt a submission, managing to escape that and end up on top still and finishing the fight by TKO. All right. That was Sarah Kaufman. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.